Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Everyday EDC. And I'm gonna just say it out, right? Probably my most anticipated knife of 2021. This does not mean it's the best. This does not mean anything else other than it's the knife that I anticipated and I just don't want it so bad ever since I pressed that, ever since I found it existed, right? I've just been obsessed. Actually, been mostly obsessed ever since the EMP Nimble. This should tell you something. This is from EMP EDC. This is, just gonna tell you, the thick boy. I bought this knife, one of my current favorite knives, the Bergblade Slim, because I wanted to compare it with the EMP Designs Nimble. Like, the past four months have literally been trying to fill the gap between everything else and the nimble so the day has finally come i am finally blessed with a an amazing logo and b a knife that i really hope meets my expectations now unfortunately every time i've been excited in the past it really hasn't fit oh Oh man, all right, so first and foremost, the micarta feels really, really nice. It's like super textured to the point where you can definitely feel the fabric. Um, I don't know the differences between micarta as far as I couldn't like feel one and tell you one. This one feels more of a canvas, if I had to guess a little bit thicker in the fibers. I'm guessing that's what canvas would be. And that's what it reminds me of, something really, really thick. As far as the seams go, you can feel a little bit of a seam right here, but it's cause it kind of contours down and around. Although, okay. So there's kind of a first, I would call it, I don't know if it's a fit and finish issue, but because of the way this lock goes, maybe it's because of the way that they're, I don't know, but there's a tiny little lip right here where it contours down right around the bolster area. Now I'm not sure if that's because of the bolster area being whatever it is or whatever the case is but there is a tiny lip right here again this change this is one of those things that i like if this was say all right so say corey at the practical blade that would stop him to the point where he because that's the stuff that means the most to him to me that doesn't stop me that doesn't change any of my feelings towards this knife so far it's just a, a slight fit and finish issue, not a big deal. To me, to some, I can see how it would be. This is a pretty cool looking backspacer. It's, it's kind of weird, it just like stops right there. I don't know if you needed the backspacer at that point. Like it looks cool, but do you need it if it's just gonna stop? Cause that kind of looks goofy a little bit. There. Got a lanyard hole right there, super discreet, super small. Love it. How does that backspacer even? There's no, oh, underneath here is gonna be screws. That makes sense, okay. This logo and this uh, titanium is absolutely beautiful. Ooh, are we ready? Are we ready? First of all, no detent lash. Amazing. One, two, three. Oh. Ah. Okay, so I have to compare this outright right away. This forward finger choil makes this just insanely, insanely, Hey, Peter. Yeah. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. Beastly. We're gonna leave that in there. Normally I cut those out. Yeah, that forward finger choil makes it a beast. No back and forth. No up and down. And you guys saw this action. Dumb. Absolutely dumb. So yeah, you're getting a less cutting edge than the Berg Blades Slim by quite a bit. But the comfort here is what this has been lacking the whole time. This, I was, I got a 
video coming up about chopping up, you know, Christmas boxes. And I was using this blade right here, which it's not really meant to be used. It's a lovely knife. I love using it. And right here felt great, but it, it doesn't feel like you're supposed to do that. Now this, if I had my thick boy in and I was cutting like this or like this, oof, oof, and this action, so stupid. The centering, perfectly center. Oh man. I would say short of this and then the backspacer kind of being a little goofy. It's it's because it's so thin. Let's show you guys another backspacer that I never thought was goofy. Here's the slim. The slim is like fatter and fits here. This protrudes up like over the top and just like a little bit. Like, I don't know. I feel like it needed to be either flush with the scales, maybe, maybe. I think if you wouldn't have tried to do like the grippiness on the back, maybe, I don't know. But it does add some traction back here, so that's cool. This is so damn comfortable and it is, isn't as thick as one would think. Um, so already the Berg Blade Slim weighs more, I can tell you, or I would think. Oh gosh, both of these are bolster locks and I freaking love both of these. All right, so, The Thick Boy is coming in at a 4.7. And the Slim, 4.79. That's, I, <laughs> I can't tell you that I'm that good that I felt the difference. I think the Slim is just a little bit more compact so it feels denser. But, oh my goodness, this is amazing. This, this is definitely fitting the bill and I'm freaking excited. Oh man, I cannot, ah, look at that. Wicked sharp out of the box, just wicked. Oh boy. Okay, and that action is just dumb. So, I love this design. Um, I, I just absolutely love it. You do have a very short cutting edge here. I kind of already noticed it when I was going to slice. So I, I was already kind of going here. It's not a big deal, right? So far. Now chopping down big boxes and stuff, I'll let you know. But, oh guys, I'm carrying this today. This is gonna be <laughs> pocket check. So yeah, I'm definitely carrying this. I'm so excited for this knife. And it is so far fulfilling or fulfilling the excitement. I'm done gushing over it. The Berg Blade Slim is amazing too. I can already tell you, I have a feeling that I'm going to like the Thick Boy more because out of the box I do, but I'm trying to get over that honeymoon just like first thing, right? But this is one of the few knives that my excitement and anticipation haven't let me down. So this is the EMP Designs Thick Boy and ah, yes, 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 yes. My name is Tyler. This is Everyday EDC. If you guys haven't already, here, check out one of these two videos that I'm going to post up on the side. And if you haven't, please think about subscribing if you enjoyed the content. You guys stay sharp, stay safe, and I hope all of you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.